So th there are a few benefits to the DNLM LVM, which is do not leave voicemail message. That, so shorthand for uh, that you did not leave a voicemail message for a prospect. So three benefits to not leaving a voicemail message are, one is it takes time to leave a voicemail message. Think if you're making 100 dials a day, if you left a voicemail message for every prospect or a big percentage of those calls, how much time would that take? You know, So if you don't leave voicemails, you can save all that added up time to make more dials. But it's the third thing that I think is most powerful, which is if you don't call, a, if you don't leave a voicemail message for a prospect, you can call a prospect back more often or more times. For example, if I call you and I leave a voicemail message for you today, I need to pause a certain amount of days before trying you again. I personally believe you should probably pause for a week, but it should at least be a few days to a week before I call you again. But if I call you today and I get your voicemail and I hang up, I can call you back tomorrow and try you again because I'm assuming that you don't know I called and you don't have a message telling you to call me back. So for all I know is I'm trying you again and you don't know I called so I don't really have to worry about seeming like a pest because I didn't leave a voicemail message. I could call you every day. In fact, uh, I want to kind of go through a scenario here of how you could piece together your calls without voicemail and, leave, and when you do leave a voicemail into somewhat of a schedule. In the next chapter, we're going to talk about getting it, your foot in the door of new accounts. And I'm going to combine the schedule of leaving voicemail messages with making calls and sending emails and how to piece that all together in terms of the frequency and number of attempts. So I'll pull, build the full picture in the next chapter but what, just regarding leaving voicemail message, if you did not leave a voicemail message on one day, DNLVM, then since you didn't leave a voicemail message, you could, you could do that, let's say, three, four times. And then on the fifth attempt, you could then leave a voicemail message. And that type of schedule you could spread across maybe one, a one week or five call attempts. So... If you're maybe doing call a day, then that would be one business week. If you're doing making calling a couple times, maybe this is two to three, four days. But the key thing here is after you leave that voicemail message, then you want to pause with no calls for a period of one week. Then after that week expires, you can start to call again, and you can begin your schedule of a handful of calls over a few days with not leaving a voicemail message, and then on your after that set of calls, then you want to leave a voicemail message, and then that could be spread across another week or five call attempts. So just to give you some ideas, hopefully one takeaway there is, as you can see, if you don't leave a voicemail message, you can call very frequently without really worrying about it. And then once you leave the message, deliver a message that has a certain goal and design a certain way, pause, and then pick back up. Again, this is one part of a full schedule of prospecting attempts, and we'll talk about that in the next chapter.